Oceanside. It's a creative studio here in Oceanside at 109 South Coast Highway um, back in November. 2020. <laughs> All right. Um, Anne, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, tell us uh, a little bit about your background and how you started this wonderful board and brush. Sure. We actually, my husband and I went on a date night to my sister's studio in Central California in Hanford and had so much fun in the process of making our own wooden signs. So we thought this would be so much fun to bring to our home in Oceanside. So that's why we chose to come here. Ah, and you've been here how many years? We opened in November of 2020. So uh, we've lived here for th three years, but... Um, I grew up coming to Carlsbad every summer, so I'm, I'm very familiar with the pier and the harbor. We love to get fish and chips, so um, being part of the community down here has been quite a blessing. It's a very supportive community, and we're really happy to be here. And you're part of the arts community, so we really welcome you here. Thank you so much. You. Um, tell us a little bit about the process and how you make an appointment and how many people you have. It looks like you may do wedding parties or showers or something like that. Yeah, so Board and Brush Creative Studio is a workshop. So you would go online, register for your, uh, whatever date a workshop. We have a calendar of um, opportunities on our website, boardandbrush.com forward slash Oceanside. Uh, you can go to that calendar, pick a, a date that you'd like to come, and then when you do that, then you register for your design. We have over 600 designs in our gallery, and you can pick out any one of them. So everyone in the class can be doing a totally different sign, but the process is the same, and we teach everyone how to do that. Um, when you are picking out a design, you can actually personalize a lot of them with last names, dates, addresses, um, if you wanted to say something specific, some of them we can change. Um, it's a lot of fun. You get to pick out something that will truly fit your home or if you are giving it as a gift, someone that, something that that person would really like too. So we are open for private parties. We do private parties for bachelorette parties, birthday parties. Um, we are a 21 and older facility because we serve beer and wine. But we come in, you come in and you have lots of fun. You start with a bare wood and we give you the stencil that looks a little something like this. We work with stain, paint, hammers, meat mallets, and drills. Um, and everyone gets to make their own project and it all turns out looking beautiful. Yeah, let's look at that wood there. Get you a little bit closer here. So is that the stencil? So okay. you can start with your bare wood that looks like this. And throughout the process, we will teach you how to distress it using a hammer or a meat mallet just to kind of give the wood a little bit of texture. And then we work on staining the wood. So as you're, you get to pick out something that totally fits in your home, you can go with dark wood, you could go with light colored wood. Um, we stain every part of the wood and then we put it together. So you can see this one right here has supports with we use the drill and a lot of people haven't used a drill before so that's always a really fun experience that they get to test out how to um, you know use a power tool a drill is a really easy one to start out with so we'll teach people how to put them together and then once it's together we actually give them the stencil so the stencil has three parts it has the blue stencil a clear tape and a white backing so we teach the process of how to use the stencil and once it's placed on the wood then the fun part gets to start and you get to pick out whatever colors you want so you get to be really creative um, you could go rainbow or ombre or you could keep it simple with just white totally whatever fits your home your personality that's what's so fun about it is you get to be as creative as you want yeah so let's look at some of these over here these are wonderful so you have christmas theme home sweet home we do we have over 600 designs um we have ones that are for your beer lovers your wine lovers you've got christmas signs you've got ones for your office you've got ones for kids growth charts i know in my home we have a growth chart and uh, we already have markings on it for our son so we're pretty excited about that That's wonderful. we've got ones for you know your front door your entryway we also have uh, what we call at home kits, so they're a little bit smaller, they're 12 by 12 inches, and um, they're actually on this wall right here behind you. Um, but what you can do with at home kits is purchase them online and we'll create the stencil for you and end up giving you, <laughs> the, we give you the paintbrush, the paint cups, the stencil, instructions on how to put them together, and they're really great for kids. I have a three year old and he's, fabulous at doing them. So oh, it's a little bit foolproof. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's got mama's talent already then, huh? 
There is something for everyone at Blair & Brush. And the thing that we like to say too is that everything is fixable. So if you think you are going to come out with a design and you're like, oh, I really don't like that, it doesn't look very good. And you lift up the stencil and you're like, oh my gosh, it came out so great. So everything is fixable um, and everything is totally personalized by you. And what days again are you open? So we have workshops on our calendar. They do fluctuate. Right now it's every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 6 o'clock p.m. to 9 o'clock p.m. as well as Saturday from 1 to 4 p.m. And is there wine served? Uh, yes, yeah. so we do sell beer and wine. Uh, that's why we're a 21 and older facility. And if you book a private party, you're more than welcome to bring in food. Um, just the other night we had a birthday party in here and they brought in a whole spread of plus a cake, so it was a lot of fun. That's great. Well, Anne, how is business treating you during this pandemic? So far, so good. We have a very supportive community here in Oceanside. Uh, we do a lot of our organic marketing just through Facebook and Instagram. And, and we've also been very lucky to be able to go to the Main Street Oceanside Makers Markets, as well as the Creative Communal Markets up in Fallbrook and down the street at Pacific Coast Spirit. So um, we've been very lucky in terms of this COVID pandemic getting us. Um, I'm, I know a lot of businesses have struggled and it's just such a great community that we're down here. Um, North County has been very receptive and we're we're just excited to be here and keep growing. You know, I think a lot of people are itching to get out. The more vaccines, the more comfortable everyone is with. Um, we are maxed, so for our studios right now, our workshops, we're keeping it to six people or less, unless you have a private party, then we open it up to more people that you feel comfortable, the people in your bubble. Um, in our normal public pick your project workshops is what they're called. We do six people and we're spread out across four tables and we always keep our masks on. Um, we like to do what we call restaurant rules while we're sitting down at your table and you want to have a drink, just take your mask and quick drink, put it back up. Um, and if you walk around, we just ask that you put your mask back on. New way of, of having business. The new normal the is new what they normal. say. That's right. So tell us about the maker's market that you're in. Yeah, so the Maker's Market, Main Street just started this. Um, I know they've been doing something similar in the past years, and we actually, our first Maker's Market was in December, um, the Maker's Holiday Market, and that was a lot of fun. It was a great way to get out and talk to the community. We were selling some of our at-home kits, and we ended up just being able to talk to tons of people about what we do here and gained a lot more Instagram and Facebook followers as well as a lot of clientele coming in. Um, private parties seem to be what a lot of people are really comfortable with and they hear about us through the Maker's Market. We, we like to talk to anybody that looks at our booth. Hey, we heard Port and Brush right here. <laughs> and there's two locations at the Maker's Market, right? So the one, um, they're starting, I believe they're starting to do it quarterly. Um, down at where they, I don't know what the cross section of the streets are. You got Mission and uh, Cleveland, I think it is. Where the, right behind Petite Madeline, that parking lot right there? Yeah. Yep. yeah. So right behind Petite Madeline is where they normally have their Maker's Market. So we've been able to go twice and they know there's one in March. So um, Creative Communal is the other group that's been doing markets and they've been up at Rising Co. and Pacific Coast Highway. Um, they have another one in March as well. All right, sounds good. All right, let's have your uh, name of your business again, the address, the website, and your Instagram. We are Board and Brush Oceanside at 109 South Coast Highway. You can find us on our website at boardandbrush.com forward slash Oceanside. Um, also find us on Facebook and in Instagram, just look up Board and Brush Oceanside. And thank you so much. We thank really you. appreciate this, and this is a wonderful opportunity for everybody to be creative and use tools. Yes. <laughs> All right, there we go. Bye-bye. <laughs>